Welcome back to Me and Mrs. Always Right. I'm your host, <laughs> me. And I'm Mrs. Always Right. Coming to you live from that little trailer park in Hillsboro, Texas. Hillsboro. So, again, and just for everybody who knows, this is the third time I've tried to record this, so... Because he's a big dummy. I ain't a big dummy. I ain't the no. one who screwed up the recording. The recording screwed up the recording. Okay. Well, whatever. But We're anyway. going to try again. So... To run down the last two times, we went to the wedding. We did go to the wedding. It was very, very nice. Yeah, nice wedding. Yes. Guy, yes. Uh, very constructive. Yes. They yes, very built, crafty. They hand-built their dance floor and all the outside arrangements. Yes, which looked like a tent almost made out of lights. It's like a ceiling of lights and then had some drape down and stuff. Yeah, yeah. He also it set up really a firework nice. display that went off pretty nice, too. Uh, right? Yeah, the fireworks were amazing. Mm -hmm. They were good. They were big, too. Big and the, fireworks. Uh, the alcoholic beverages that were supplied, not supplied? Uh... Yes. So they had some lemonade and what what appeared to be Kool Aid uh -huh. for the kids. Yes, slushy type yeah. drinks. Yes. But as uh, the announcement proceeded, about an hour into the after party, that um, those were alcoholic beverages, and you proceeded to see plenty of parents take their uh, children's drinks away and <laughs> dump them out. Because they thought they were kitty drinks and they were not. So apparently a lot of kids were going to be sleeping very well that night. Well, about an hour left to go. <laughs> and then all of a sudden you see the parents giving the kids the drinks again. Like, yeah, here you little fucker. Yeah. Drink that and go to sleep. And probably because they had already had plenty themselves, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. The cake was good. The cake was good. The cake, both cakes were good. And then we had uh, plenty to eat on the way home. Yes, we did bring cake home with us. Not all of it made it home with us, but we did. Well, our fat asses ate some on the way home. A lot on the way home. That's cute you spoon feeding me, though. Aw, yeah. I know. You were driving. You know, I wanted to share the cake with you, and I did. You're such a sweet woman. Thanks. I you had a bitchy ass. Never mind. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's going to lead into the next topic here in a minute. Yeah. But So Halloween went off without a hitch. Uh... Well, the Rona did kind of deter trick or treaters, but the house looked good. You did, you did very good decorating. So, and we did have a few trick or treaters under ten, and not just aged under <laughs> ten, but unfortunately under ten trick or treaters. Where last year we had probably fifty, seventy trick or treaters. We Damn. had a lot Damn. last year, so I prepared this year for like last year and yeah i got so much candy left over now it's not even funny man so you should uh put pictures of your decorations up on the facebook page i will do that absolutely i will do that i think they they were pretty good i probably could have done more but yeah you know i'm always busy and i don't have a lot of time but you are busy i am a busy person you're right yeah so um I had a guy at work who listened to the last episode. Uh-huh. Just the last episode? Well, I mean the last episode in particular. Oh, okay. Talking about in-laws. Uh-huh. And he wanted to know yes. how well we get along with our in-laws. We have in-laws? Yeah, I'd consider them more outlaws, but whatever. <laughs> <laughs> so... I told him that he would have to listen and uh, find I would, out how I would we explain deal it with all. Them. So, yeah, your 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 mother is about the only in law of yours I have an issue with. Yes, hey, half the time I do too. It's okay. So, <laughs> but the way that started was, uh, you got sick one day many years ago. Yeah. Okay. Been a long time ago and long. land far far away. Yes. <laughs> and so anyway, yeah, so you got sick and we had to eventually take you to the hospital, right? Yes. So emergency, emergency room, because we didn't know what was wrong. You didn't know what was wrong. Right. They and, didn't uh, know what was wrong. Then God didn't know what was wrong. No. No. Oh, no. He knows what's wrong. Yeah, you're married <laughs> to a retard. Mm -hmm. um, I plead the fifth. So, um, and in lieu of, you know, and in lieu of, you know, we didn't call everybody. We didn't know what it was. You weren't dying. I and instead of having, well, I mean, you were screaming like it. <clears throat> yeah. But 
And, but instead of having everybody rush up there in the emergency room idiot drive, which people can do. Oh, oh, I'm one of those people. Right. Yes. No, no, we have no, that I agreement. I drive yes. to your emergencies. You drive to mine, right? Yes, but right. you don't drive near as fast as I feel you should. Speed limit 75. You're doing 60. I'm like, dude, what can the we just fuck get ever? There? I don't want to kill us getting can, there. Uh, you can do the speed limit at least. Anyway, anyway, let's go on with your story. So they admitted you in the evening, right? Yes. And then I called yes. your family and everybody came to visit to see how little June yes. was doing. Oh, exactly. your baby, she gonna be okay. Oh, yeah. No. So we met with the family a week later in, yes. our, in our typical let's get together and have some coffee ritual meeting that we did every week. Every week. Every two weeks, yes, right. we always we always met. Several family members had coffee, hung out, had a good time, and we were sitting there. And I was enjoying the coffee. You were enjoying yeah. the coffee. Well, I think we were at IHOP or something. That it time. was Denny's. I remember it. Was it Denny's? It was Denny's. Okay. Okay. And, uh, All right. Your mom asked to talk to me in a separate booth. Uh huh. And so I'm like, okay, no problem. Go over there, and she tells me. I don't care. Can I use that voice? I don't care. You sound just like her. I know, right? <laughs> I don't care what June says. You are to call me no matter what. And I looked at her, and she looked at me in my doe eyes, right? Mm -hmm. I said, Mrs. Always Right is my wife. Yes. Okay? And that what she says goes, not what you say goes. Yes. What and, we both decide on. Right. Exactly. Well, when it comes to that, it's your decision. It's my decision. But yes. I honor your decision. And she she got pissed, right? Oh, she did. And so, I mean, you know, she would come over after that. and But, the, right. but, but it really wasn't, you know, a, hey, how you doing? No, oh, how you doing? It was more like yeah. a fuck you type fuck you thing. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty much. She, and, she yeah. 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 But at least we talked, right? Right. She so, did come around. It wasn't until a few years after that, on Mrs. Always Right's birthday. We were celebrating birthday and Christmas. Christmas Eve. Because they are yep. very close together. Yes, they are. That we were sitting in the dining room, and I asked my beautiful wife if she didn't mind making me something to drink. And my beautiful wife said, sure, no problem. And then my mother-in-law popped off with, you need to get up and make it your goddamn self. Mm-hmm. And, uh... You proceeded to say... Oh, I was I was livid. Yeah, right then and there. You could see it in his eyes. And and the family's, the, the family's there. And, <laughs> yeah. And I kind of told her that this was my goddamn house mm -hmm. and that she needed to mind her own fucking business. Yes. All Just right? set your ass down at the table. That, yeah, yeah. Yes. you sit there and shut the fuck up. Yep. And she did. Yeah. She finished her meal. She got her stuff. She left that house. And didn't come back and for a while. No. And then she, there for many years after that, she wouldn't even come over if you were home. Right. You had to be gone with your other stuff or work. Which was fine or, by me. And she, because she would not come over. No. So and, and that was fine with me, right? Because, but uh, you know, so I mean, when your when your uncle passed away, I did feel kind of bad, right? That you know, it it had gotten out of hand, right? Right. But I mean, she needed to understand, and and I didn't know how to put it to her in a language she would understand that stay out of my fucking business, right? And at your uncle's funeral, I felt bad, and I tried to apologize. I I manned up. I did the right thing. You I did. felt and and I tried to apologize to her and basically got a fuck off response. Yes. Yes, but okay. you did. You so, were the bigger man which I felt which we had that... discussed before and you were like, "Why do I have to be the bigger no, man?" No, I got but, it right. But you were and so now you can say that you've tried and everything else from then on out is all on her. Right. So and yeah. and yeah, she's still, what the last time she came over is when we moved in. That yes. I was here. Yes. So yes. We, we moved into the new trailer. Yes, she she did help her and uh, other family members came over to help uh, because uh, he was at work and we were moving in. I guess I had a couple of days off or something. Right. I, I can't remember what was going on, but somehow or another, when big things like that happen, he always has to work and. I can't take off. I'm the uh, breadwinner. 
oh yeah, four times as much. So <laughs> <laughs> whatever. So uh, anyway, so we did uh, get a lot of stuff moved in. Uh, you did help with the washer and dryer. That I mean, was like I helped where I thing. could. Yes. Right. Yes. So, So. uh, but we did have a refrigerator delivered that we had ordered because, of course, right before we move, our refrigerator goes out. So we have to, we have to buy a new one. And And we were eyeballing that, that side by side with the bottom freezer anyway. Oh, yeah. And it's big and it's nice. Mm -hmm. And it didn't fit through the doorway. Nope. Doors had to come (laughs) off, didn't it? (laughs) And the trim around the doorway. Yes, we took the trim around the doorway off, and we took the doors off the refrigerator to get it in. So that evening. But we did get it in. Right. And then that evening, I went to put the doors back on. Yes. And your sweetheart, beautiful mother Mm -hmm. was here, right? Yeah, yeah. And I I just, I went along like nothing was wrong. We just bring out the worst in each other, though. Yes, and that's the I, truth. I believe you do. And and I go out of my way to be snooty, and I think she yeah. goes out of her way to be oh, snooty. Oh, yeah. yeah. Right? And it's Both just like, and it's just like yes. who can tell each other the fuck off first? Yes. It's a yes. great game. You should you should yeah. try playing it. But eh, no, eh, I'm okay. So when I'm putting the refrigerator on, I'm, I'm, I'm on the, the <clears> step stool, and I'm looking at the refrigerator, trying to determine the proper path, and... She told me that a family member of hers has done it, and I should call him. Yeah. And well, he's our family member too. Well, you you know what I'm saying. Yes. I mean, it's, so I'm I not know, trying I to put it, it any other way. No, but, I know. I'm just. Yes. And that I told her polite politely that I had it under control. Yes. Yes. And um. Then we were measuring something. Oh, I think yeah. we were measuring the um the light switch or something. Right, and I needed a pencil to right. draw the new outline to to right. flip it because we and had to I, put it from one side of the wall to the other. Right, because the refrigerator is big and blocked it. Yes, it did, and uh, so we did that. But then I needed the pencil back, and I was joking, and I said, "Well, that's my <laughs> pencil. You can't have it." <laughs> he was laughing. I was laughing. It was a joke. But and it pissed her off. She wasn't laughing. So the next day when she came over to help me finish whatever, everything up that we were doing, she came over and helped and brought me my own pencil. This pencil's for you. It's not his. Yes. Man. So I got my own pencil. Did it say bitch on it? I mean, I don't know. I mean, uh, yeah, I mean, it might have. I am a bitch, but I don't really, I don't really know. Hmm. Oh, pencil. It's mine. And I think the other thing that pisses me off. Yes. Is that the way she imagines I treat you. Yeah, probably. She assumes that you and I are in a physically abusive relationship. You know, and I have no idea why she thinks well, that. Well, because you broke your toe. And you broke your ribs. But I did that. You didn't she, do that. She does. She don't know that. She ain't gonna. She does you. know that. I have told her that. Yeah, but that's a battered woman. <clears throat> oh, whatever. I tripped and fell. Oh god. That's where she thinks that's coming I from. I fell while what water boarding or whatever tubing baby tubing. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah that's where a few of the broken bones came in. Yeah. 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 But it. But it. it in her defense. <laughs> Which I kind of thought was funny after I broke my toe. I broke my toe. I hit it on the door facing running. We were playing chase or something. Oh, that's after you hit me on the top of the foot with a hairbrush. And that hurt. I did. And, yeah. <laughs> hey, got your attention though, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it did. So anyway, uh, I broke my toe running. We were running around the house, the trailer, which we shouldn't have been doing, but we did, did it anyway. And... um. I broke my toe, hit it on the door face, and told my mom. She was like, uh, yeah, uh, sure. Yeah, right. Uh-huh. Well, a couple of weeks later, she was walking through her kitchen and went to avoid a dog or something and hit hers on the table and broke it. So she was telling me the story, and I just looked at her, and I went, oh, uh-huh, yeah, right. Yeah, right. <laughs> I was laughing at her. So so maybe she believed me i you know i don't really care if she believes me or not you do not abuse me physically emotionally you know we're good i tried to treat you like a decent woman Eh, you know no i'm just kidding (laughs) i'm kidding so my Uh, in-laws who (laughs) i'm just kidding i don't have parents i was an orphan you you do have parents and i i like your parents you know I mean, I. She I she's think, tolerable. I think your mom, as long as you don't try to, you you don't get any kind of 
political conversation with her, I think is good. Right. You know, because... And you're not going to convince her one way or the other. Exactly. She, she's so I don't talk mind. politics right. to her at all. Right. You know, and I fuck so... fuck with her on Facebook. Though. Oh, I know. Yeah. I know. So I, I'm good with them. I, I'm, I'm good, good with, with my, I'm good with them, too. I just... You know, we don't see his uh, his parents often because they do live out of state. Mm-hmm. So mine lives relatively close, and uh, I I do try to call her <laughs> every couple of weeks. You know, except for that year and a half where she wouldn't answer your. Did when oh, you called yeah. her? When you called her, and, and I know this is about my in laws, but you called her, and she was she was like. I'm mad at you. I'll call you when I'm not mad. And a year and yeah, a half later, yeah. a year and a half later. I was like, I didn't <laughs> even know she was mad. I was like, wow. So, you know, of course, I I, ta- uh, I called my kids and I'm like, hey, have you talked to her? And they're like, no, she hadn't texted me back. She hadn't answered me back. And I'm like, well, apparently she's mad at us. And they didn't know either. Well, she had found that new friend at Walmart during this time too, didn't well, she? Well, that is true. I think, I think maybe she thought she could only have one friend at a time or something. I'm not real sure. <laughs> she she handed out her only friend card and it didn't go to. <laughs> she took it back from you and handed it to a stranger at Walmart. That's true. That's but, true. So, but I I do try to call her every couple of weeks and talk to her for a little bit. I I try to go over and see her. Not as much as I probably should. She is getting not older. after this episode. <laughs> But, you know, I'm busy. I have a lot going on. I'm always busy. You know, my day's off. I'm always busy. That's a good thing about my mom is she's not up our ass. Not anymore. Not since we don't live in or, you know, rent the house from her anymore. Right. Well, you know, she wasn't really up our butts then. Eh, No, not really, but. Oh, did y'all do this? Now she was. uh, Did y'all do this? Did y'all do that? Well, yeah, we're, we're living here. We're taking care of it. Right. We're, yeah, we did it. And they sold it for a healthy problem. Yes, yes. And good for them. Good for them. Yeah. Good for them. No, I don't want any problem. No. So, anyway, so you don't like one of your in-laws. I get it. And I tried. I know. And I like both of mine. Yeah, yeah, then no problem there. So, anyway, mm. yeah. So, I guess that's about good for the in-laws i'm Is sure it? we have i don't know i'm sure we got lots of stories we could lots tell lots of stories yeah. i'm sure i'm sure i don't I know, know we've done we this have... three times and now we've done it in 20 <laughs> minutes we've done it so like, fast oh god yeah, yeah. we already know what we're gonna yeah. say oh i can tell you um when we were living in the house that we rented from my mother-in-law um and, you know, she, you know, when we moved in, I'll paint it, do whatever y'all want. And she had some. Well, and uh, she did say that t- that eventually <laughs> it was going to be ours. Right. And that, that that was the only issue I had was that flip flopping, like, hey, we're going to have a house and then we're going to sell it. Well, what the fuck? Right. Right. Make yeah. up my mind. But, um, you know, and she had done all the interior and everything herself, all the paint schemes and everything, and it was okay. It was nice, you know. I mean, I didn't mind it except for the paper. That, the wallpaper. The, the wallpaper that was in the dining room. And he room. didn't like the color of the background. And, uh, yeah, yeah. It it just... Pink ain't in your color? No, it was purple. It was a fuchsia. It was purple. And it was so funny because I repainted the walls a gray and they looked really nice, but I kept, I couldn't figure out why everything still looked purple. You know why? No. Because the ceiling had a purple tint to it. She did the ceiling too? Yes. So once I repainted the ceiling. Well, you know, gray will absorb, kind of absorb the color it's exposed to. But once I repainted the ceiling, it was no longer purple. I was like, oh my God, this is amazing. I like it so much. So the wallpaper, though, in the dining room was very bright, uh, like maroon and green. You know, it had flowers, and they were big flowers, not little flowers, big flowers. And so one day I pulled it all off and uh, proceeded to paint the wall, and nobody noticed. My mother-in-law come in town, she never noticed. (laughs) I was like... Your husband didn't either. 
I know, and you live there. <laughs> I know. And you've seen those walls every single and she's seen those walls every single day for years before we ever moved in. What what in my favorite room? The dining room? Yeah. I'm really surprised. It's well, you're the me di- fat? well, no, I'm just saying it was the dining room. And then room. the kitchen and those cabinets were so dark. I know. They I just, did want to light they were them up, murky. But I it never just did. they made the kitchen dark. Yeah. You know, like a dark place to be. Yeah. It was just the but I, I did repaint the dining room a, uh, a tan color, and it was a nice color, but mm-hmm. nobody ever noticed that Baby, I painted it. Baby, it looks so it. good. Yeah. So I pointed it out after I got a uh, trim quarter round and put in the uh, corners of it, and I did those a darker brown, like a more chocolate brown. And uh, put those all, and it really made the walls it did, pop. It, did, it yep. really looked good. Well, it separated the other two walls. Yeah, you know? yeah. But it, it really did look good, but nobody noticed till I pointed it out. And then they're like, oh, I really like it. I really like it. Even my mother-in-law. I really like it. I never even noticed. And I'm like, I know. <laughs> You've already been here and uh-huh. didn't even notice all that That's stuff was up. gone. I know. It was some Bright colors. But you worked hard on it. I, I mean, I, did I do work know. hard on it. Oh. It looked good. You know. I did have help. You know, one of the kids come over and helped and everything. And then uh, we put a ceramic tile. For, well, we, did, we didn't. We paid to have oh. it done. Okay, so ceramic tile floor. We were going to put it in ourselves. We got all the tile, all the trim, mm-hmm. all the, the settings, you know, the set creep, whatever it is, everything that you need, right? We buy all this stuff that we know we're going to need. We go we go to pick it up at Home Depot, and oh, my God, by the time we got home and got every box unloaded, <laughs> my I was so tired. I was like, dude, nope, we're going to find somebody. We're going to hire somebody to do this floor. They did a good job, too. They did a wonderful mm-hmm. job. It changed the whole – yeah, we had that, that dark green carpet in there, which was okay, but – it just got wore out after after some time. I I did oh, like yeah. the ceramic floor. Oh my there. god, that it looks so good in there. Mm-hmm. It really, really did. And I think they it brightened a, the room up. Oh, it did because it w- wasn't so dark. Right. That's kind of that's kind of why I wanted to r- get new living room furniture here because I feel it's too dark in the living room with the with the hardwood floors in the trailer. Yes, yeah. the hardwood floors, and then they're they're kind of a dark mm-hmm. color. But then our furniture in the living room is also dark. So I do want to get a lighter, maybe a gray, uh, something like that. Well, we have animals. I'm just up. worried about the animal hair and stuff. I have a vacuum cleaner. It's fine. That, that one's a robot, and it doesn't know how to climb couches. But I have a vacuum cleaner. Or, I, I mean... I could even put a sheet over it. It doesn't even matter. And then I could change no, it for every no. season. No, let's get grandma's plastic. No. Do you know why she put the plastic on the couch? So you didn't mess it up. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Why? Grandma was a squirter. Stop it. <laughs> every oh, time. <laughs> stop it. <laughs> you went to grandma's oh. and it was covered in plastic. Oh, Gra- stop grandma, it. Grandma was a squirter. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, <laughs> uh, you're so gross. Uh, Nobody wants to think of their grandma like that. Anybody who grew up with plastic on grandma's couch, just remember. No, that's no, that's so gross. Grandma was a squirter. No, <laughs> probably grandma had bladder problems. Uh, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. She's old. She can't hold her pee. You know. So. Wow. Yep, the things you learned on this podcast about yeah. grandma. Wow, I didn't know that about grandma, and I'm probably pretty sure it wasn't true. She probably did that so little shits like you didn't spill their Kool-Aid on it. I was and... a good kid. No, you were not. Yeah, up, at least, up until at least I was two, and I started walking. Well, I mean, I walked before I was two, but when I started walking, I probably started getting into a lot of trouble. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure. And talking. Oh, God, and hasn't shut up since. Neither Isn't it so funny that you spend, like, the first two years of the baby's life trying to teach them to walk and talk, and then the rest of the time you're telling them to sit down and uh, shut up? You know what's depressing? At what? one point in your life, you put your kids down to never pick them up again. 
I know. And did you realize no, that? I don't think anybody does. No, no, I don't, I don't think so either. You know, you never realize the uh-uh. last time you put them down is going to be the, the last, last time. time. Yep. You know, the best you can do now is just hug them close and. You know, occasionally, though, they'll, like, sit in your lap or whatever, you know. No, you have to pick them up and carry them out to the car or carry them somewhere, you know. No, but I I mean, once they get grown, though, the best you can do is is hug them. And, you know, when you're sitting around telling a funny story and there's nowhere to sit and they sit on your knee or something. And, you know, think Uh, about Not my knees. They'll break. Yeah. Yeah. Because you're old. I am. Don't forget. Oh, no, no. And wise. Okay, so you're old. We know. Your mama. My mama is old. That's fine. <laughs> that old woman loves you, I think. I, well, I love her, too. I know who she don't love. Oh, she could give two shits about you. And it's funny, your last husband, <clears throat> I don't think she liked him either. And she did. Until you got divorced. Exactly. She did when, when we you got, got divorced. When you got divorced. She became his best friend. She tried to, I think. I, I think expecting. she was just trying to. I, find I was waiting out for the phone call. I was waiting me. for the phone call. Uh-huh. About how do I shut this woman up? <laughs> <laughs> it's easy. Yeah. So. Yeah, he he did like um your comments to her on uh the holiday season that one year. I don't know how the man tolerated her. I I don't. I know. You know, I I I give him full on respect <laughs> for making it as long as he did, tolerating her. Yeah, yeah. Oh well, you know, life goes on. Our family is you and me and the kids and the grandkids. Well, that's our immediate family, and that's what comes first. And then exactly. we have our. You know, you you move you move from parenthood, right? To you 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 look at your kids, and you're like, well, you're adults now. Right. Their life, our children's spouses should come first to them, not us, right? If, I if, agree. If I picked a kid and I'm like, I don't think you should do that. And their spouse is like, well, this is what we, that's not my place. Hey, are you not beating my kid? Exactly. Um, Are you not beating my grandkid? Exactly. Um, They got a place to live and food in their stomachs, Ex- you know? And it's not and, mine. And, and you're so, work- yeah. Right. And you're working hard and you're doing what you can. I have no fucking problem. You do you, homie. Exactly. You know, your your life is your life. Once mm-hmm. you get grown out of my house yep. and take a spouse, and that's on that's on you. That's, that's right. That's your family that's first. Right. And that's, you know, I, you, I you mean, are, all parents you... probably want to butt in, but I really try not to butt in. It's not any our of, place. It, it's just our place to lives. enjoy our grandkids. And that's, yeah. that's it. Right. They can do what they want. Yes. Right. And, and that's that. So, yeah. No, I agree. I agree. Well, so. hopefully this time around it sticks because uh, <laughs> I'd hate to have to do this a fourth time. Uh, not that I don't like not, you know, I, I enjoy I sitting think, here talking I to you. I don't think you like talking to me. I'm just kidding. Go to me and Mrs. Always Right and check out Mrs. Always Right's decorated Halloween porch. She worked real hard. Give her some give her some thumbs up and some comments and you know, let her know, hey woman, come decorate my porch. It's what you do. Yeah. I don't mind. Okay. You know I, I probably could have put more decorations out there, but I didn't. No. But it's okay. And then uh email us if you have any questions or complaints, right? Email me and Mrs. Always Right at gmail.com. dot com. Email me and Mrs. Always Right at gmail.com and uh, complaints go to the intern Trevor. Yes. Okay. And y'all give him something to do. Oh, yeah. I mean. Or not. You yeah. know. He's I mean, because if you give him something to do, then you're complaining about what we're doing. But we want to, you know, we enjoy doing this. I enjoy doing this because I enjoy talking to you. Really? But, Yeah. And I even listen at work. I mean, you don't ever look at me when we're having sex. Oh, stop it. So I I, look at your nails. Well, yeah, or read a book, whatever. I mean, when when else do I have time? Uh, Right? (laughs) Yeah, I get it. (laughs) Kill two birds, one stone. Mm. (laughs) And then I think you got some uh, me and Mrs. Always Right goodies coming. I do. I need to check and see. They should be in uh, the middle of the month, I think. 
or something. They should, yeah, they should be coming soon. We'll try to have some kind of maybe little, some sort of little giveaway or something to see uh, if we can get people to. We're going to give away boob shots. Uh, your boobs. Your boobs. Nope, not my boobs. Nobody yeah. wants to see my boobs. And we gotta get, we gotta get working on soundproofing this. Oh, you don't like all the ve- vehicles going by, pulling trailers. <laughs> People moving out of here left and right. They just give right up. They hooked up that dually to that single wide, and they're like, "We the fuck out." <laughs> Peace, brother. Y'all, y'all put up with that woman. I can't. <laughs> can't do it no more. I'm moving my trailer. My in-laws are at work. Me and the wife are moving. Well, thank you, baby. Thanks for doing another episode with me. We're up to 200 downloads last time I checked, which, I mean, ain't a lot. that's awesome, though. It's okay. I mean, we probably got, like, three fans. You know what? I know that we have at least one fan, and that's me. Oh, you're my fan, baby. Uh, Exactly. I mean, I'm your your fan. (laughs) I'm your fan. I'm your fan. I'm your biggest fan. I I am me. Sorry, my bad. No, it's okay. <laughs> All right. Well, I love you, baby. I love you too. Don't forget to uh, right wherever you get your podcast. Go <sighs> ahead and subscribe. See? And I found out you can also uh, review. Give us like a little review and rate us yes. on Apple. If you get your podcast on Apple, and y'all can do that, we'd hey we'd one star love is better see. than no stars. That's all I'm saying. Well, that's true. I didn't even really realize that was a thing. I gave us five stars. Did you really? Yes, I cheated. No, that's not cheating. It's biased. Maybe, but it's not cheating. No, it's so, not. So I di- I didn't realize that. Did you give us five stars? No, I didn't realize that. Well, then that. you need to go give us five stars. I know. I'm a lot. Write us a, a good review, You too. should. I know. You that, should, too. Uh, me is so handsome and good looking. That, that's such a good looking guy. I love being around. With little chicken legs. <laughs> eh, you know, it's fine. I don't even know why I do this with oh, you. Oh, you know what? Oh, God, You know what, what you really look like? I think I believe I've heard the kids say this. Oh, don't. <laughs> that, that, that you look like the butler off Scooby Doo. So does your fucking mom. Oh, Despicable Me. That's it. <laughs> you totally. And tune in next time for the next episode <laughs> of Me and Mrs. Always Right, yes. where she probably can't talk <laughs> since the duct tape's going to be over her mouth. <laughs> uh, oh, I do mm. enjoy talking to I you, do honey. Too, baby. So I love you. I love you too. Until next week. Yeah. All right. Bye, babe. Bye.